Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Scripted on COS OS. Uh, so Scripted, it makes it to where you can stream non-HomeKit certified devices like rings, different things like that, straight to your Apple TV using the Home app to do that, or a Home Hub. Uh, so, a, uh, a little bit about this series is I'm going over starting a smart from scratch. So I'm going to go over installing things, getting things running, everything like that, to home automations. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So a little bit about Scripted is it's Scripted is a high performance home video integration platform, and you can stream to anything. So you can stream your home kits to secure video, uh, your Google Home, your, your Lexus, and Scripted is uh, low latency and rock solid reliability, and I can test to that because I got quite a few cameras on it. Um, so th th these are the cameras that are supported, and then there's even more. Uh, I've done all kinds of videos on installing it on different platforms, so you can go to the Scripted series and see that. I'll link it down in the description. And... Um, they do have a community that you can join on Discord. So about Casa OS, is it your personal cloud operating system? Um, I did do a video on installing it on Proxmox and I'll link it down in the description. And um, it's your personal cloud reimagined. It's been featured in uh, Discover Amazing self-hosted apps. They have a app store. Uh, this is running Docker uh, Compose in the background, so um, you can link your storage devices and, cl and cloud storage, and you can access servers anytime, ser server anytime, transmission formats, how it works, easy app installation, flexible dashboard, discover new apps, and they do have a command line interface, and I've... Uh, I've got a video on an, on setting up the command line interface in my install video. And uh, manage all your files and in, in files, share files across the network, protect your family's privacy data, and freely add disk and expansion uh, spaces with the files app. Simple, elegant, and easy to use. So it just makes it to where you don't have to run Docker Compose uh, a command line. You can have a nice UI. For personal cloud hackers, there's a, Z a Zima board. I'm thinking they're sponsored by Zima board. Um, so you can install it on a Zima board and a Ubuntu, Raspberry Pi, and Debian. And here's the apps. They have quite a few apps in their app store. And uh, I just got an update like yesterday that you, you, I added even more apps. Um, they do have a Discord that you can join. So that's about Casa OS. So we will go with a fresh install of Casa OS. And um, I did do a video on installing Portainer on Casa OS. So you can get it down in the description and go to it. So, um, so once you have Portainer installed on Casa OS, you can install more advanced uh, Docker Compose scripts. Because if you go over here and um, you go up here, then you go to import. Uh, when there are more than one container specified in the Docker Compose file, only the first one will be imported for now. So the first one on the services and scripted as two. So um, so we'll have to install it with Portainer. So we will go over to my scripted Docker Compose that I created in um, version 3.5. And I, I will have a link down in the description for the guest, uh, Docker Compose 3.5. So ser ser services underneath here. So we're gonna start scripted. We're gonna get it from the Docker Hub uh, scripted uh, container. Then we're gonna set some environment variables. So I, I would change this if I was you uh, and set your own random text here for the bearer token. And container name scripted 
restart unless stopped. So that means that if you stop it for any reason, it will not restart. But if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. So the network mode is host. And then we're going to set some volumes. Uh, so script uh, dot scripted volume is on the local on the host side. And then in the container, it's server volume. So they sync back and forth. And um, we're going to set up some logging in a JSON file, the max size and max file. We're going to set some labels for the watchtower. Then watchtower is under the services. Then this is another service called watchtower and environment variables. We're going to set and I would change the, um, the HTTP API token right here to your own random text. And then the image is coming from container uh, watchtower, and if it doesn't have a domain on this image, it's coming from Docker Hub. Just a tip. So container name, scripted watchtower. Then we're going to do restart unless stop. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not really try to restart. But if it fails, it will try to restart. We're going to set up some volume for the Docker .sock right here. So the host, and then the container side labels for the watchtower we're going to set it ports for the 10444 and then 8080 on the container side and then commands uh, to run and start up the watchtower so that's about the docker compose script so now that I've explained the Docker Impose to you, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go over to the Portainer install on the Casa OS now. So I'll go to my Casa OS. So now I'll, I, I have Portainer right here installed already. So I'm going to go in it. I'm going to go to local. And then I'm going to go to stacks. And I'm going to add a stack right here. And I'm going to name the stack scripted stack. You can name anything you'd like. So I'm going to paste in what I just copied over there in the gist. So I've already went over this. but So now everything's ready up here. So now I'm going to deploy the stack right here. And the stack is deployed, and now you can go into the container, you can go to the logs, and you can see that it is deployed now. So I'm going to go over to the home. I'm going to go back to my Casa OS, and then now you will see Docker containers over here. I'm going to import the scripted Docker container. So I'm going to show you how to import scripted inside of Casa OS. So I'm going to um, have to get an icon URL. So I'm going to go over to the scripted website and I'm going to copy the image address. And I'm going to go back to Casa OS and hopefully there's no hot link protection. Didn't check this before so I'll see if it works. So now I'm going to put HTTPS because that's what it listens on. And I'm going to do 30. Then I'm going to 10.443. So web, uh, the, the HTTPS and then your IP address for your CASA OS. And then your port is 10.443. 10, 10, uh, 10, that's the default port for scripted. So now I'm going to save it. And it looks like it did import. So we, we have this imported and we have a nice uh, uh, icon right here on the Casa OS uh, dashboard. So now we're ready to to get uh, scripted you know, set up. So now that we got a nice icon on the Casa OS uh, dashboard, I'm going to go in there and open it. Um, but you can export as compose, uninstall, open, and then shut down. Uh, 
power off, I mean, and then um, restart. So now I'm going to open it. And since it has a self sign certificate, we're going to have to go to advance and then proceed. And then you will come to have to create an account for scripted. So I'm going to create my account real quick. Okay, now that I've created my account, you can get to the management console and you can go and install plugins like you can install Ring, you can click the install button, then now Ring is installed and you can add your Ring username and password to complete the setup. Um, you can go back here, you can see the right broadcast, the Ring, scripted core, snapshot plugin, WebRTC. You can also go to your scripted server address, save that, and then you can change the remote streaming bitrate. You can restart scripted. They have a terminal. So you can see all the files in the uh, scripted directory. So users, you can uh, see the scripted users, see scripts, device groups, automations, and then you can see all the devices, and then plugins. And then you can see CPU usage, memory usage, RPC objects, how much everything's using, what the resources are. So that's how to get scripted installed on Casa OS. So I just showed you step by step on how to get uh, scripted on Casa OS. Uh, we did have to use Portainer since scripted, uh, since Casa OS is a little bit limiting um, on the how many services you can have. You can only have one, and that's the top one. So, uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions, you can go comment down below or join our Big Bear community and uh, type in the suggestions form. If you need any support, you can go on the Big Bear community and go to support form. It'll be down in the description for the link to join it at the Discord. So you can also comment on the videos, and I'll be glad to help as much as possible. So stay tuned for more.